Migraine headaches. What causes headaches? There is a wide range of different headaches, including cluster headaches, migraine headaches, ocular migraines, sinus headaches, and tension headaches, as well as a wide range of people who suffer from headaches. It should be no surprise, therefore, to find that there is also a wide range of different things which can cause headaches. In fact, there are so many different causes of headaches today that we really need to consider not simply the question of what causes headaches, but more specifically of what causes various different forms or degrees of headache. We might, for example, look at mild headaches, chronic headaches, severe headaches and those really bad headaches which are becoming all too common for many people. Some very severe headaches result from underlying health problems such as those thankfully rare cases of brain tumours or cerebral aneurysms but here we will concern ourselves with the most common headaches which we all suffer from occasionally and which have equally common causes. In a lot of cases, a headache can result from simple eye strain, perhaps caused by reading for too long, or by reading in poor or inadequate lighting. Working at your computer for too long can also cause eye strain with the same results. In other cases, simple inflammation of the sinuses as the result of a head cold or allergy might be the cause. And overuse of some prescription medicines can also produce a headache which is often referred to as a medication overuse headache. Although the precise cause is not known, it is also believed that constriction of the blood vessels can also lead to a headache. The blood vessels within your head are lined with pain sensitive nerves and these are activated whenever the blood vessels constrict, sending signals to the brain. This is thought to be a common cause of both tension type and cluster headaches. It is also believed that the dilation of blood vessels within the head is an important factor in triggering migraine headaches, although this is thought to be just one component of the equation that leads to migraines. Tension headaches can also arise from other causes, such as tension in the muscles of the neck and shoulder and even from tension in the muscles of the jaw. People who have experienced TMJ disorder, a condition arising out of tension in the temporomandibular joint causing the jaw to tighten against the skull, will be all too familiar with the headaches which can result from tension in the muscles of the jaw. In more serious cases, headaches which are normally referred to as secondary headaches can be produced by an underlying disease. Here, the list of diseases which can cause a headache is long and will include everything from irritable bowel syndrome to scarlet fever. Environmental factors also play a very important part and one classic example is the severe headaches which can be caused by carbon monoxide from automobile exhausts. Other environmental factors will include such things as simple allergies and although less common these days, even lead poisoning. Food poisoning, however, remains a fairly common cause of environmental headaches. Indeed, even when food poisoning itself is not the cause, many people are sensitive to certain food compounds, and things like chocolate, cheese, red wine and caffeine are frequently the cause of headaches. The good news is, that while many people do suffer from severe and chronic headaches, the vast majority of headaches, about 85 to 90 percent, are common tension headaches which are both easy to cure and often easy to prevent. To discover more about headaches and to learn how to avoid them when possible and to treat them when necessary, please visit the Migraine Headache Centre today.